Well, I just created this new Peter Pan piece, but hook is an absolute just tool. <laughs> and I mean, just like, I use that term like, you know, he thinks he's so all that, but he's just, he's, he's a scaredy cat, you know, he's, he'll, run up the, he'll run up the pole, you know, immediately when he sees the crocodile, and he's, you know, he, he just, I love how animated he is, his voice, his screams. My favorite part of that movie is when he gets snapped out of the mouth, and he's like, bah, 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 you know, I used to die when I was a kid hearing that. Um, I love uh, the old classics from the standpoint of um, the way that they're rendered, whether they were done in oil, whether they're done in watercolor. You look at Snow White, you look at Lady and the Tramp, you look at these backgrounds. Like people are looking at the characters. I'm literally studying the background, lighting, balance. How do they paint that porch? Man, look at the way they even got the gloss on the fence and look at the time of day and look at how they just made everything feel really dark and dismal just with music and cold colors. And, you know, I'm doing that. I can't look at it at surface. So I would say the classics are great for me, but my biggest, my biggest heartstrings are like the music of the old classics with Mickey, such as, you know, Steamboat Willie, all the black and white shorts, those old things where, you know, it's sounding, I don't even know how to describe it, but Disney is very much Victorian. Um, 20s through the 40s is my favorite era. I love that whole era. I love old painted glass signs. I love vintage, um, Edison bulbs. I mean, that is just my wheelhouse. So anything that's black and white, distress, drips, great typography. Um, but I try to take, like I just did this newest image for Disney Cruise Lines where it's called um, Bath Time with Captain Mickey. And it's him playing in a bathtub, but this black and white image was, you know, it's line art typically. I love taking old line art, great classic Disney, but rendering it between Pixar and that. So somewhere in between where you have real stylized realism, you know, you could feel Mickey's hand. It, it feels round. You can almost imagine what the material is made out of. Are his arms made out of rubber? Does it feel squishy? Does he feel like a plush, like a stuffed animal? Or does it feel plasticky? Does it feel real rubbery and cool? So I try to make it a little bit more contemporized, but totally heralding the legacy and, and the roots of what made Disney Disney, that classic great feel. And I will say, like I just saw, um, Oz and the opening title graphics for the movie were astounding. I mean, I saw that and I went, okay, I, I was ready to walk out right after the opening credits just because that alone, that whole opening sequence was just so well done and to me was very well done in a Disney style but also heralding the legacy, if that makes sense. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching BeliefNet. Um, it's been great being here, I appreciate you watching. You can also uh, check up, keep in touch on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and my website, noahfineart.com, and I can be found on social media with Noah Fine Art. Thanks for watching and I'm glad you were here.